Hey, my neck back, that's your boy, it's me, it's Mickey D. Today we are playing DeepNest.io. So let's get... Hey, is that an owl? I know what you're thinking. What kind of a game is DeepNest? Well, it's not a game at all. It's actually an awesome piece of free software that uses artificial intelligence to nest objects in a given area. But I want to turn it into a game by competing against it. I want to put my mushy human brain up against its... AI and see who can do a faster and or better nest. So I have our first race loaded up. It's just a bunch of random shapes in a given area and we can just select sheet as our area. And uh, now one thing about deep nest that I kind of just realized, it has a whole settings section, which is actually really useful. And one of the most important features is the part rotation. So this controls how many times Deep nest will rotate. And for this first one, we're going to just leave it on four. So that means it's only rotating in 90 degree chunks. And I'm going to follow that same rule. So I have the same set of shapes open up in Photoshop. And I'm just going to basically race Deep Nest to see how many of the shapes I can nest compared to it. And so I can't cheat. I have a card that I'm actually going to tape onto my screen. So I can't see what it's doing. I can still see if it's beating me or not. So let's just go right into the first race. Three, two, one, start nest. And it's already placed 24 objects, which uh, I was pretty sure would happen. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of room for all these shapes to fit in that area. And it placed it within a matter of seconds before I could even get a shape out on my board. And we'll go back. So we'll run the race again, but this time, let's do two of every shape. All right, so this time, there is no way that we're going to be able to fit 48 shapes into the arena. So it's more about basically seeing what I choose as to compare to what the, what I choose as to compare to what, it's more just seeing what I do compared to what Deepness does. So there's no real rules you don't have to fit like one of every shape, at least one of every shape into the area. Deep Nest has just been told, I want two of every shape into that square. Do what you can. So we'll see. Three, two, one, and start nest. And we're still on four rotations, so only 90 degree rotations. So my current strategy is basically just kind of combining a lot of these shapes that can combine into more rectangular pieces just to take up as much space, use up as much available space as we can. I'm just kind of trying to find common angles, which is pretty much what the software does as well. So it's, yeah, it's at 28 already, but it seems to have, it seems to be maybe slowing down. Yeah, it hasn't changed. Now I am gonna try and get one of, at least one of each shape on, just because that's what I'd wanna do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So I've placed 34 shapes and it has been stuck at 28 pretty much the whole time. So I got just about one of each. Uh, I think I missed one of the green hexagons, but uh, I went with some of the smaller shapes um, just so that I could get them in there. Uh, there we go. So let's, uh, yeah, let's see what it did. So yeah, it went with a lot of the larger shapes. Uh, it, it looks like it might have used a bit more of the area. Like the surface area of all the shapes that it shows is more than the surface area of all the shapes that I chose. 
but I got more shapes, 34 to 28. So uh, I say I won. Let's, uh, let's continue this one a bit more, up the amount of rotations to like 16. Now this might actually be a hindrance for Deep Nest just because it has so much freedom now to do all these rotations. So it might just kind of get stuck just kind of trying all these different rotations for one item. So it might actually slow it down. Um, but for me, I definitely think it's gonna help. I think I can get at least one more shape, at least 35 shapes, if I'm allowed to rotate in any direction I want. Now resize, that's definitely cheating. So see, it's now stuck on 26. And I think by this time it already gotten its 28. So having that freedom to do any rotation it wants is definitely kind of a hindrance for the AI. But also it might be a hindrance for me. I haven't really gained much space yet, but I think I'm worse now. Maybe I, 334. 35. So I did, I got one extra shape once I was allowed to rotate it any direction I wanted. And there's still a big space here, a big space here I wish I could take advantage of. All right, I'll take 36 to only 26 this time. So yeah, having the freedom of rotation didn't really help the program out that much. It did better when it was forced to work within just four rotations. Um, so that's that's kind of interesting, kind of expected, but uh, I'll take the win. All right, so let's just do one more round, uh, just some different shapes here this time. And I'm pretty sure Deep Nest will probably win round one right away. So let's just take a look. Oh, right, we still have... Uh, rotations turned on so let's yeah i'm gonna force deep nest into four rotations and i'm going to allow myself any rotations for this round um but three two one start i can't three two one i've been counting down i've been counting down in my words and up on my fingers start next Yeah, it's like 24 of 26. So maybe these all can't fit in this area. This one's cool. This one feels, I feel like I should be able to get all of this on there. Oh, 25. Oh, it's only one away though. You just start shoving this stuff up there. See, because I can do stuff like this where it currently can't. So that should be my advantage. But if it was allowed to do that, then it would be taking forever. So it's interesting. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, come on. How is, how is this not all gonna not fit? Let me do something more like this. 20, ah, oh, it found it. I was close. And it did it without, uh, without rotations. So, it's pretty awesome software. I had, I, I mean, I technically had the advantage and it beat me without it. Yeah, this can just go here. There we go, I did it too. All right, let's see what it did. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty clean layout. Man, it wedged that cactus right in there. Ugh, so, it's a, it's a mix. I definitely think, uh, I think being able to combine both worlds, like an update for Deep Nest, like if you could kind of like lock certain shapes in or somehow interact with it to 
to assist it with what you could see that maybe it's not seeing, I think that would be, I mean, that would be awesome. Especially for when you just need it done, you could just being able to dump in all your shapes and just, it'll spit it out within a couple of seconds, especially if it's an easy nest, um, especially if it's with a lot of blocks and stuff. It's, I've, I've wanted software like this forever and the fact that it's out and for free and it's really awesome, a really well designed, nice clean interface and all, pretty much all the options you'd need. Okay, let's just do one more round. Now in this scenario, let's say that someone cut out a shape right in the middle of a board. And so I wanna try and use the surrounding area just to take advantage of all that scrap. So let's say it's something like this. There's a big bird shaped hole in the middle of our materials. Now we have to work all of our shapes in around that. Three, two, one, start nest. It's definitely taking its time thinking about it. All right, so it's already got 20 placed. But this is just another great feature where you can basically create your scrap pieces, stuff that already has things cut out of it. And then basically Deep Nest will work its nest around that shape. So almost like the feature I was saying where it'd be cool if you could just like lock something in place that it already has. So you can kind of do that. But that would be more like interactive. So yeah, we can like squeeze in this little star right in there. Now it was already pretty tight, so I'd, I'd be surprised if we could get all the shapes and our void. It's at 21. It seems to be about the best it can do. So it seems stuck at 21. If I can just get 22 shapes, then then I can win and I'll take ah right, right. so now if I can get 23 shapes then I can win watching some guy move shapes around in Photoshop riveting content no it's it's against AI it's cool I think I can I think I can get it that look I see a lot of space that's 23 oh oh yeah All but the cactus. So there we go. Say, so, hey, hey, I won. Right? Did I miss any? No. So there we go. 25 to 23. I beat the AI. So what is it, uh, what is it doing? Yeah. Yeah, see, see, my unlimited rotation gave me a lot of advantages in a situation like this. So if I cranked up its rotation ability, I'm sure I could definitely come up with this eventually, but it would take quite a bit of time. I don't know, looking at this, I, I bet you could squeeze this in there somehow. I think you could get them all on there, but uh, I'm gonna take the win. It's still stuck on 23, because even, you'd have to like, even like at 100 or 1,000, it's still not an unlimited number of rotations. It's always gonna be a number. But then again, is my choice truly unlimited either? I, I'm breaking my own brain. But I'm gonna take the win. I think this was a really fun experiment. So this, this is definitely an extremely useful tool, but uh, sometimes you're still gonna be better off just doing it on your own, but it can definitely point you in the right direction and possibly give you some ideas. Or you can see, well, this stuff's all good, but I can just rotate this and fit those other three things in there, so. 25 out of 26. I could get that cactus in there. But anyway, I thought it was pretty fun. Stupid idea, just making a game out of a piece of software that is definitely not a game. I mean, it could help you make a game. We made a game out of it. Just, I don't know, really cool look at human versus our current AI. And I mean, it's only gonna get better, but uh, my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nick D. Clements, if you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas, and the D stands for Deep Nest. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. It's so easy.
easy to get into this idiot.